Okay, so it's another Xbox done. Uh, I finished installing all the ROMs on it. Uh, all the LEDs, upgraded the hard drive, refurbished it, changed the thermal paste, it's all good to go. Um, so this is a video of it running. Uh, the only thing is, I didn't have any purple LEDs to put in the front, so what I've done is got the red LEDs, um, which are in built into it. Uh, and then I sprayed them on a purple as well, so it added a purple to it. And then the front's got two layers of purple, so the purple for the actual main console and purple for the bit that goes on the outside. So it kind of looks purple. I keep saying purple, there's a lot of times I've said that. Anyway, so that's what it looks like when it's on. 12 LEDs on the top, 12 each side, 6 each side here. And it looks pretty smart. You have to excuse the mess everywhere. There's coin ops running in 720p. Runs really well. And now I'm going to switch to the PC and show it in hands with the lights off. What's up, YouTube? Kevin Wood with 123. So, as you saw the video before, that's the console with the lights on. I thought I'd do a little show of it with the lights on before I show it with the lights off so you can see it a bit better. The dog is joining me today on the chair. He's a bit wet because he's been in the garden. So he's up my leg and getting soaked. There's shit everywhere in the house. The missus is going mental last night. Painting it up and adding the LEDs. Soldering in the kitchen with hot glue in there. And I've got screwdrivers and PCs everywhere. Yeah, she's not too happy. But um, yeah, I'm going to tidy it up after this video. I promise. Well... Yeah, maybe if I think, well, if I remember. Um, so the only thing left to do with the console is to put the rubber feet back on the bottom and it's good to go. Just going to glue those on. So what it was, was I've done a red Xbox crystal for Ian Jury. Um, I'll leave a link below to his channel and you can see it on his channel. He hasn't actually done a full video on it yet. Uh, showing it off or anything like that, but uh, maybe you will one day, maybe you won't. Uh, you know, I'm not pressurising him, we don't need to. Uh, but you can see it in some of his videos. I'll try and remember which ones it is and link them, but I might get it wrong. But um, this one is a PC, uh, PC, this one is an Xbox original for Danny Kavanagh, and he wanted it in purple. I suggested purple because it was one of the colours I haven't done, and it's quite a unique colour, something different. And you, I don't think there's any purple Xbox crystals out on the internet at all. I don't think there's any that has been made. So as far as I know, it's been a one-off custom job. So it's crystal purple as you can see. You can see through it, see through the paint. It's a special paint that you can see through. And it's painted all the way around on the bottom, on the back, and on the front as you can see. It's got six LEDs here, six LEDs here. The wires go in, in one end and out the other. Uh, it, it comes across here, the LED um, the wiring comes across here. Then goes into the roof of the console, 12 LEDs, the wires, as you can see, you can just see the wires poking through there. I couldn't really stick them in anymore. The problem is with the wires is if you leave them too short, you can't glue the LEDs to the top of the case. If you leave it too long, um, it hangs out. But if you leave it too short, you can't put the lid on properly. So you need to leave them long and hopefully tuck them in, uh, sorry, this side, tuck them into the side and hope they don't pop out. But unfortunately, they pop out. It's not a big deal. I mean... It's quite smart seeing them actually. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, you can see through. There's the hard drive here. Upgraded to 250 gig. Uh, stock hard drive in these. I think it's like 8 gig. So not enough. And it's like 200 gigs worth of ROMs. And then he's still got 50 gig left to play with. So he can add a few to him, a few games himself if he wants to with the built-in software. And as I said in the other video, cleaned it out thoroughly. Uh, changed the thermal paste on the processor. Processor. And GPU, so it's nice and clean, and just give it a thorough clean inside and out. I'm going to go once over now. Once I've stuck the feet on, I'm going to go over with some um, plastic polish just to give it a bit more of a shine sheen to the top, and to go in each of the. I like to go in all of these because the dust sits there and you don't really notice it. Uh, and I did give it a bath. I give it a good wash before I used it, before I built it. But I'm going to go over one more time just to get in each of the cracks to get it spotless. And then I'm going to send it off. But he also sent me a controller to do as well. So there's a controller in purple again. Like that. I think it's smart. It's quite nice. The controllers are the worst bit. When you paint the controls, because they're so curved and there's curves all inside and none of it's flat at all. With the Xbox, it's just like, you know, straight spraying on like that. With this, it's this paint is odd. It's not, um, it's not like... Like with spray paint, it sprays and stays. If you spray it too thick, it will run. With this, it sprays. It's kind of like grease. Uh, so you spray it on and it sort of like 
it, it pulls. It doesn't move. It just sits there, but pulls to the edges. So um, on certain corners, and will I see it on this? You can't really see it. Well, you might see it if I hold it up. But on the joins, which I've said in the other videos, when you get the where the screw holes are, if you notice, it's slightly white around the edge because it can't get to the edge. It just physically won't go to the edge. It will just go up and then run straight back down. So it's a real pain to do. But when it's you know a distance like that, when it's all together, it's not really a problem. It's not noticeable. I mean, I've got an orange one, which you've seen in another video, in one of my old videos. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Uh, I've done the Xbox for him. I'm not going to upload this video till he's got it and he's happy, so he doesn't know what he's getting. <clears throat> he knows it's purple. He knows it's going to have purple LEDs in it. But he doesn't know what it exactly looks like. I've showed a few people, and they're impressed with it. They think it's quite nice. So hopefully when he's got it and he's happy, I don't know if he'll make a video. Hopefully he'll make one because I want to see some more videos from him. Um, but yeah, he'll get a, hopefully he'll get a console and he'll be happy with it. And then I can upload this video just to show another one off that I've done. But anyway, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do many more. Uh, the paint is just finishing up, coming off my skin because it sticks to your skin and it turns into like rubber. It's horrible. Um, but yeah, it um, is a pain to do them. I'm, I, I don't mind doing them for friends and that. But it's, you know, it's, especially this weather as well. The weather's like minus three yesterday. So I was spray painting at minus three, which isn't ideal. So I had to heat the paint up in the tin and then spray it to get it to, you know, apply properly. But yeah, that's it. I'm rambling now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.